Hello again my friends and welcome back to my channel and to another book review. This time we are looking at Turning Point by Lisanne Norman and this was I believe written in the early 90s uh, if I remember correctly um, and it is I would describe it as soft sci-fi slash science fantasy um, and what I mean by that is soft sci-fi is like the opposite of hard sci-fi. Hard sci-fi is where you really focus on the science, the nature science of things and the engineering to make sure that it is like realistic or almost realistic. Uh, while soft science usually deals with other kinds of sciences, um, anthropology, social science, that kind of thing, or uh, deals with a, society, a science fiction society where the science isn't really explained and doesn't really need to be explained either and I think that's the part that that's the situation here because here we deal with a human colony on a different planets um, and they don't have they don't have a lot of, of gear with them from earth so their society there is actually kind of old-fashioned <laughs> it's, it's almost like a what feels like a fantasy society um, uh, and it has sort of old idea ideals uh, and all that um, and then the science fantasy comes in because our main character Carrie she has like uh, psychic abilities she has a connection to her twin Elise like they can sort of read each other's minds and stuff uh, but then Elise dies in the, this is not a spoiler by the way this happens like in the first pages of the book um elise dies and this is a big traumatic event for carrie because in her mind where elise has always been her whole life there's now an empty space but the space is soon filled up with someone else not elise but someone else's consciousness um and this is an alien uh, called cusack um there's actually two kinds of aliens here they're all the vol Voltogens, and they are like the bad guys. They are uh, sort of want to invade this planet where the humans now have the colony. Um, and the Cusack comes from another alien species uh, who they, they look like cat people, basically. Um, and they are also at war with uh, the Voltogens. So, and, and Carrie and Cusack meet up and have to. Uh, well, learn to uh, to depend on each other and to uh, create a sort of alliance between the humans and um, the Sholans, I think, is what Cusack's people are called. Um, so it's sort of a... It, it is a first contact story. Well, not a... It's not a first contact story with aliens, you know, between humans and aliens, but it is a first contact story between humans and this particular kind of alien um, and they sort of discovering each other and I think this is really nice um, there's also kind of like a little bit of romance going on between Carrie and Cusack which is kind of weird <laughs> because he's a cat alien um, but it was also kind of cute because he's a really nice guy and she's kind of a nice young woman as well so I like that I, you know the romance aspect of this was actually what kind of attracted me to the novel you know I was like I was reading it and then I read reviews for it and I'm like oh cat alien romance I was like what <laughs> how does that work I want to read it and it worked pretty good actually uh, however I want to point out that this is not a romance novel uh, it isn't structured like romance novel this is a science fiction book with quite heavy romance elements so I don't think you know if you don't like romance I don't think you should be turned off because it isn't a pure romance novel, it just um, it has a lot of that going on in it. But there's other things going on as well, and there's quite a, a whole bunch of side characters that are a bit interesting too. Uh, and it is the start of a longer series, so um, if you have seen my, my book haul, which I think by now I would probably have uploaded, but I do show off uh, in a book haul three the next three parts in the series, which I have also bought and I'm gonna read. Uh, because I like this book enough to continue with the series. Um, and I suspect that the rest of the books are not quite as romance heavy. Uh, they are probably more science fiction adventure and that kind of thing. Uh, it's just in the first book here you sort of have to 
set up the main couple because they are they are the main characters and they're gonna continue to be the main characters. Um, I liked it. Um, I will point out that, like I said, this was written not this year. It was written early nineties. Uh, you do kind of feel that a little bit when you're reading it. Like there's certain things. Things you might not always be able to sort of point to and say, yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's just sort of a general feeling when you're reading it that it is slightly dated. But I don't mean that necessarily in a good way. It just it just is a feeling. I don't know exactly I don't know exactly what it was, but just something when I read this when I was like, yes, this feels like a nineties science fiction book. But I don't mind that. I actually don't like that. <laughs> um so yeah, this was, this was really my thing. Uh, it's not a perfect book, but I did like it a lot. Um, if I'm gonna p- complain about something, it's that I was I thought the description of how Cusack looked and moved was a bit confusing uh, because at first when he and Carrie actually meet for the first time, like like physically meet and not just in their heads. Um, he actually like pretends to be just a big house cat, <laughs> uh, and the other humans like, go, accept that and say, "Yeah, he's a big house cat, a big alien house cat." But you know that's what he is. He's a pet, and he sort of said that he walked on all fours, and I, I couldn't quite picture in my head what he looked at like because later on he's walking on two legs, and I assume he kind of looks like a human, you know, vaguely human shaped. So. That was confusing, <laughs> uh, but that's just a minor thing, really, uh, because overall I thought this this was a f- simple, fast-paced sci-fi adventure. Uh, you know, it's not big epic in scope. It just happened on one planet, and it just deals with them having to um, find this escape pod, basically, uh, or, or or for Cusack to contact his his people on the mothership again. So, uh, you know. Simple, but fun. Really, really fun. Uh, pretty good summer read, I think, because it's not overly complex, but you're gonna uh, you're gonna enjoy yourself a lot, I think. I did, anyway, so if anything I've said sounds interesting to you, I think you should check it out. Uh, or if there's something I've said that doesn't sound like it's up your alley, I don't know. Maybe you can skip it, but maybe you can try it out anyway, because I liked it. I had fun. Uh, but anyway, that is all for me this time. Uh, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have you read this book? Have you not? Are you interested in reading it? Uh, tell me so down below. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.